When I'm in my town, the sun goes down. I go to a place where no one's around. Lay on the ground, head swimming in the clouds. Today I'm going to be doing a big collective haul for you and I did recently do a similar haul about two months ago where I featured Ebates and kind of told you what it was all about um, and this is kind of the same thing they reached out to me again they really liked the video and the way that I explained what Ebates was and it seemed like a lot of you guys were interested and did actually sign up so they said you know thank you for that and to thank me they did send me another gift card for $100 to Macy's again they actually gave me a couple stores to pick from but I just picked Macy's because I needed some makeup um, and specifically MAC makeup so I do purchase most of my MAC makeup from Macy's just because Macy's is a part of Ebates and MAC Cosmetics unfortunately is not. I wish it was, but it's not. But briefly, Ebates is a cashback website. So the websites that you normally shop through, just think of any website that you like, pretty much Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, JCPenney, Nordstrom, Forever 21. A lot of different stores are a part of it. So basically you click, you click onto that website through Ebates link and then that takes you over to the website and you shop just as normal however you get cash back for your purchases it doesn't cost anything to sign up it's completely free it's free money people so definitely take advantage of it um, cash back percentages I've seen it be as high as like 12% and February 16th through 29th these stores will be participating in double cash back so check that out I'll put more information down below in the description box for you the other thing is Ebates has a now an extension that you can add onto your browser. So I use Google Google Chrome, so I downloaded the Chrome um, extension. And basically what that is, once you download it, you can go directly to the site. So if you want to type in, you know, Victoria's Secret, you go to Victoria's Secret and the extension recognizes that that website is a part of Ebates and just a little blur pops up in the corner. It says activate cashback. You just click that. Once I did that, it's been so much easier and I've been I've been earning a lot more money just because I honestly a lot of times I would forget about Ebates and I just go on there and get all excited and like make my big purchase and then at the end I'm like damn I forgot to do Ebates so yeah I would miss money but um definitely check that out again I'll have more information in the description box as well I'll link that other video I go into a lot more detail in that video but I am running short on time and I don't want to bore the people that you know saw that video and again Ebates did give me a hundred dollar gift card to Macy's but I spent well over that everything else that you see in the video I did purchase myself the first items that I'm going to show you are the items that I did get from Macy's so most of the stuff that I got from Macy's was from MAC Cosmetics and the first one I'm going to show you because I know that I will get some questions where is it? I can't even... Hold on a second. So I just went to go find it in my room and I was actually just sitting on it. So I had it right in front of me. But the first thing is the um, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. And these are new. And I originally wasn't going to get any of these just because the reviews I saw, they didn't seem that great. And the colors weren't really unique. They were colors you've already seen in a lot of the other liquid lipstick lines. And um, the reviews, a lot of people said that they were patchy, and with the swatches, I could see that some of the colors were patchy. But this color got the best reviews, and it looks so pretty, and everyone that I see wear it, it looks pretty on them, so I wanted to get it, of course. And it's the color that I have on my lips right now, and it is the color O Lady. So you can see it's a beautiful purple color. It's kind of like a magenta. It's I don't even know, but it's so, so pretty. I, I have it on my lips, so yeah, I was going to swatch it, but that's stupid. So um, yeah, so it's this color right here. It's so pretty, and I don't think I'm going to get any other colors just because, again, the colors aren't really unique and the reviews aren't that great. But this one, I do highly recommend it. Definitely check that out. The next thing that I got is a lip liner from MAC as well, and this is in the color Chestnut. And the reason why I got this is because I do have several brown lipsticks and I didn't have a lip liner to go with it. So I purchased um, Chestnut Lip Liner. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, your basic brown. It's a true brown. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a true brown, like the, you know, the crayon brown. It just looks like that color. So yes. 
The next thing that I got from MAC was the Point Black Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> um, I got this because I ran out of my Stila, Stila? I ran out of my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Yeah, the one that I talked about like numerous times. Um, that's my favorite, or it was my favorite, but I have I have high hopes for this just because the re reviews that I saw were really good, and I like the little brush that it has. It has a really tiny, precise brush, and what I was using was a felt tip, which sometimes I find that it would skip, not skip, but it would leave like like blank spots, if that makes sense, when I draw over it, like. I don't know how to explain it. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. But this is the, that is the, um, that's the brush on that. And it looks, oh, the other reason, it dries completely matte. And personally, I prefer the matte look with my eyeliner. I don't like the shiny look, which the Stila one is a little bit shiny. So that's something that I could have done without. But then I saw, um, when I saw comparison swatches, you know, I watched some videos, of course. And this one not only stayed on the longest, it was the deepest, darkest, most matte black. So I'm really excited and I have some high hopes for this. I don't even know if I told you the name. It's the, no, that's the wrong box. Well, it's on here. It's the Liquid Last Liner and the color is point black. So check that out. The next thing that I got is also from MAC. It is the Studio Finish Concealer. Um, I love this concealer. This is the concealer that I use on my brows to define and highlight my brows. And I have it in the color NC30, which works well, but I wanted a darker color to use on the top part of my brow because it is a little too light. It works very well under the underside of my brow, which I'll continue to use it for that. But I wanted something a little bit closer to my skin tone. Unfortunately, they don't have NC40, which is what I wanted. Um, I'm an NC42 in MAC, so I, I still wanted a little bit of a highlight, just not as a dramatic of a highlight. So I would have gone with NC40, but they didn't have that. So I got NC35, and it does look pretty dark. So it's probably going to work pretty well and be close enough to my skin tone and still give a nice highlight, but not look as, you know, bright as the NC30 because I did have to work with that one and like really blend out on the top because I don't you know you don't want it to look crazy so um but yeah I look it's looking like it's gonna work I just put it on my skin and it actually almost looks like the same color so we'll see we'll see next thing that I got is also from MAC and it's a brush it's the 212 brush and this is just a flat definer brush that's what it looks like I'm sorry because this the ring light that I have when you get it close it kind of like drowns it out but it's just a flat what is it what is this called it's called a flat definer brush it's like a flat eyeliner brush pretty much and I forgot I was watching somebody's video and they used it and I forgot what they used it for but I said I needed it because they used it for something I think they used it on the bottom lash line and I don't have any flat definer brushes. Like I have like a hundred brushes, but I don't have any like this. So that's why I got that one. And I do love MAC brushes. The next thing that I got is also from MAC, but this I did not get from the Macy's website because they didn't have it on the Macy's website. This is a MAC Pro item, I believe. So I did have to go to MAC Cosmetics website and this item had been sold out for quite a bit of time so I just saw that it had restocked so I got it and it's another lip liner and the color is Stone. So I have a few lipsticks that go with this color. I actually have the Stone lipstick from MAC and then I have two liquid, two or three liquid lipsticks that will go well with this color um, and it's kind of like a grayish a medium toned grayish brown is how I would describe stone. It's really, really pretty. And that's what it looks like there. The next thing that I'm going to show you is a new item. It just came out and I did see a lot of good reviews on it. And I was really intrigued by it. And it seemed like something that I would really, really love because I love matte lips. It's the Smashbox Insta Matte Lipstick Transformer, and this you basically, it's like some sort of a gel, 
um, and you basically dab it on top of your lipstick and it makes any lipstick a matte lipstick. So I would definitely check out some videos here on YouTube just to kind of see how that works but from what I have seen it works very very well and if you have like a creamy lipstick or um, a satin lipstick or a glossy lipstick it will turn it into a matte lipstick so I'm I know I'm gonna get a lot of good use out of this product the next thing that I got is another eyeliner but this one is a gel eyeliner and I have been wanting this gel eyeliner for such a long time but I always forget about it for some reason it's the Inglot gel liner and I got the black color which is number 77 and I was surprised that Inglot was on Macy's I don't know if they just got on Macy's or what, but I think I'm going to check out some of their other stuff as well because I don't have any other Inglot stuff. Um, but yeah, it's the Black Gel Eyeliner. I've used it two times now, and it's what I have on today, and I absolutely love it. I love it more than my um, MAC Black Track Fluid Line and more than my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, so I think... I don't know like if I'll ever get through this, probably when it dries out, but if I do, I'll definitely repurchase it. The last thing that I got from Macy's is this, and this is the Clinique um, Clarifying Lotion. It's basically a toner. I get the number four, which is for oily skin. Um, I would say my skin is maybe normal to combination, but this one I feel works the best out of all of them. And yeah, this is my favorite toner. I've been using this for a couple years now and I always repurchase it. I normally get the larger size, but I just got the smaller size this time. And plus, I normally put it in my um, cabinet, in my bathroom cabinet, and this looks better. Like, it takes up less space. So, I got the small one this time. So that was everything from Macy's. The next thing that I'm going to show you is from Sephora. And I really only got one thing. Um, but Sephora also does take part in Ebates as well. And I always try to make sure it's double cash back. Like if there's something I need, I wait until they're offering double cash back on Sephora's website. And that's when I make my purchase. But it's the Beauty Blender. And you know what's so funny is I hauled like this almost the same thing. It was a beauty blender kit and it came with it didn't come with this but it came with something else but the reason why I'm buying it again like so soon is because I like to always have two beauty blenders on hand and I broke one of the other beauty blenders so I just got another set and when I buy beauty blenders from Sephora I always look for the kit because you get two beauty blenders for you know the same price they're $20 each so you get you know this is 40 this kit but you always get a bonus item so this is a pretty large size of the beauty blender cleanser that you get in there and you basically get it for free because again this is only $40 and you're just paying for the beauty blender so that's what I got from Sephora oh also from Sephora I always make sure to look if they're offering like any deluxe size samples. If you have the Ebates browser extension and you click on the upper right hand corner of your browser, it'll actually pull down a little drop down and it'll show you all the coupon codes that are available for that website. So when I did that for Sephora, I, find, I found that they were offering um, a free deluxe sample of this. It's the Clinique Custom Repair smart serum and then I also got you know my free three samples that you get with Sephora you know every order you make online so that was it that I got from Sephora not much there um, I also got some liquid lipsticks this is one of my favorite liquid lipstick brands and it's colored rain and they recently came out with some new colors and I did get uh, quite a bit of them you can see there um, this one is really really pretty it's called cherry blossom if you follow me on Instagram this is what I wore on on Christmas and I posted a picture it's this is the most gorgeous red I've ever put on my lips it's prettier than my favorite red which is um, Riri Woo also Ruby Roo which is my second favorite um, it's so so gorgeous so if you're gonna check out any color I would definitely check this out I don't even think I'll reach for those reds now that I have this it's so pretty let me actually do just like a quick swatch for you and these are so pigmented you just put on like a thin layer and it deposits so much color so let me show you 
this th I know the swatch is not gonna do it any justice, but it's just so 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 pretty. Um, so that's that color. The other color, um, if you go on Colored Rain's Instagram page, you can see swatches of all these colors. But this is another one that was really popular and it was sold out for a long time. It's again one of their newer colors, and this one is called Roulette, and it's like a deep, like eggplant purple is how I would describe it. But it's really pretty. I have not tried this on my lips yet, but I know that it's going to be gorgeous. And that's what it looks like right there. Um, I also got Tootsie, whatever. These are like brown colors. This is like, which I have a brown similar to this from Lime Crime. So like, I, and I did swatch them next to each other and they're very similar. So I probably didn't need to get that. Um, and then this color, which is like a lighter brown. The lighter brown is whatever, and the darker is Tootsie. And then I got this color, which is called Bachelorette. It's a really pretty brownie nude. This is so, so, so pretty. I love this color. And that's what that looks like. Um, and then I got, I'll just quickly show you the other colors. This reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills paint. The blue with the sparkles in it but I saw swatches of this compared to paint and this looks so much prettier and I don't know like when I'll wear it or if I'll wear it maybe in a video I'll wear it but it is a sparkly blue it leans more on the purpley side so I think that it would be more wearable than a lot of other blues that are out there Let me see if it, yeah that's what it looks like right there and what there was one more color. Um, this color is called Ooh La La. It's a really pretty, bright, bright, bright pink color. So that was all those. I am going to do, I know I said a long time ago I was going to do this, but I promise you I'm still going to do it. Um, a lipstick, no, a liquid lipstick swatch video where I try all my liquid lipsticks on my lips. I have a lot of liquid lipsticks, so it'll probably be like just a video where I'm not talking. I'll just kind of show you, you know, each swatch um which i'm sure would be preferred anyway but yeah i'm still gonna do that video i'm gonna do it soon i'm not gonna put a date on it because i know i know y'all will be on me if i put a date on it um <clears throat> the, the next thing that i got are just a couple brushes i actually got these from crown brush i don't own any crown brush well now i do but um, prior to purchasing these i did not own any crown brushes and these are kind of some smaller brushes that I felt would be good to add to my brush collection that I didn't really have, you know, I had a need for these brushes and these are, they're all like smaller detail brushes. They have it like close up. What inspired me to get these crown brushes is I saw a video from Luster Lux and I think she was showing like her favorite brushes and I think she showed like two of these but then when I got on the website I saw some other ones that I wanted to get as well um, but they're just you know they're smaller type detail brush like more like liner brushes or small smudger brushes I'll do a close-up for you so you can see so those are the brushes there Siri says hi back So yeah, so those are the brushes right there. And the next things that I'm gonna show you are all jewelry and they come from Henry Bendel. And personally, I always give credit when credit is due. So I will say like how I really got into Henry Bendel is Star Milan. Like he, he didn't introduce me to it because I've seen other people like show pieces and purses and stuff from Henry Bendel in hauls. And I always thought the stuff was cute, but then I just forget about it and I never like went on to shop or go into the store or anything. But once he started, like once he mentioned it in a video, that's what made me like go over and start looking at their stuff. And then I went into the store is where I made my first purchase. I, I made my... um. I got my bag from there, the black bag that I carry now, and I got some jewelry from them. And now they are my favorite for jewelry, specifically for earrings. They have my favorite earrings. Um, the earrings that I'm wearing right now are from them, and I did get these in the purchase as well, but I'm wearing them, so I'll do um, a close-up. I'll insert a close-up for you. But they have my favorite earrings, and the reason why 
the first pair of earrings that I purchased for that from them they're gold and all their gold stuff is gold plated so it lasts a really long time and I mentioned this before in a video but I get my ears like my whole body gets really sensitive not just my ears my whole body <laughs> My whole body gets really sensitive to fake jewelry, like I'll start to itch and get a little bit red, but their jewelry does not do that to me, and I think it's because it's gold-plated. So, like I was saying, the first, the first jewelry that I got from them was a set of earrings, and there are these gold, rose gold earrings, and I wore those same earrings for like, maybe like four months straight. And I, I like scrub them clean, like reshine them and everything, and they never faded on me. So I went and I repurchased those same earrings because I lost one. I was so mad. Um, so I repurchased those same earrings and then I got some others from them as well. But I think those are going to be like pretty much the main earrings that I wear. So let me just show you the jewelry that I got. I may have to do a separate close-up, like not with this light, because you it'll probably wash it out. I think these are the ones. Yeah, these are the actual ones that I, the first, are these them? Because I got the same earrings in gold and in rose gold. So I think it's hard to tell right now. I think these are the gold ones. The first ones that I got was rose gold, but these are what they look like. And they're really, really pretty. And what I love is the backs on their earrings. Like they, they pay attention to the backs of their earrings, which I love. And when you take the earring out, on the back of the earring, on the inside, they have like a little crystal. And that's not even a part of the earring that you see, but it's just like a really nice detail that lets you know that they like really pay attention to detail. And I just think that's really cute. <clears throat> So that's those. I like that all their stuff comes in these little cute bags too. I just love it. So those were actually the rose gold because these ones are the gold ones and I just like bent the card trying to take it out of the thing. But those are the gold ones. And the gold ones, they have like a, like a, so not a silver, but a crystal center. And the rose gold ones have like a rose gold center. But I love these. These are my favorite earrings ever. And personally, I love stud earrings more than hoop earrings. I prefer to wear studs for every day, like small stud earrings. I don't know, when I was younger, like when I was in high school, I always liked to wear hoop earrings. But now, like, as I got older, I just don't like them as much. I like them every now and then, but for every day, I just like stud earrings. These next ones, I was eyeing these for a while. And these are gold earrings, and they kind of look like uh, flowers, and they have crystals around the edges. And I just think they're so pretty like I love these I think I love these and the other ones I think they're like tied but that's what those look like how do you like me being in front of my couch again I know a lot of you guys said you miss me being in front of my couch like my old videos before I moved I used to film all my videos in my living room and I've been filming like since I moved in my bedroom which I don't really like I don't have like a designated filming area here I'm really waiting until I'm really waiting until I move and get my house. Like I cannot wait because I'm going to have a separate room just for my filming and it's going to be so much better. And I'll have it set up all cute and stuff with a cute background. But let me know how you like me like filming in front of the couch. I think you guys like it more. So let me know. Next pair of earrings that I'm going to show you. These are the silver, the silver version of the earrings that I have on right now. The ones that I have on right now are like a rose gold with a, let me see. These ones are, I'm gonna focus. These ones are a rose gold with like a yellowish stone and then they have crystals around the edge. So these are, these are the silver versions. I'm not a, a person that wears silver, but these kind of, they're like almost like a diamond stud. So I feel like if I wanted to wear gold, I could still, you know, wear gold because they, they just kind of remind me of like a diamond stud earring, which you could wear with anything. They just have that small, um, I guess you would say like halo going around the center stone. So I really love these. And I think these are either sterling silver. I'm not sure because I know the gold ones are gold plated. I think maybe these are sterling silver, but they're 
These ones were $88, so they better be something. And then the next thing that I got is this bracelet. And this is really cute. It's like a little, it's rose gold, and then it has, um, it's like kind of like a tennis bracelet, I guess. I don't know. And it has like a little... I'm not gonna bother, I'll do a close up, but it has like a little belt buckle and then it has like little stones inside each of these little links and I just think it's so cute. And I think this would be a cute like, like if you, what's it called, like a layering piece? Like if you wear your watch or whatever and then you just have on like your little, you know what I mean. So yeah, so that is that. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the little bags because I don't want it to get messed up because this stuff is not it's precious to me and it's not cheap okay so the last thing from henry bendel this i did not get from henry bendel directly i got this on poshmark because i had some credits on poshmark um if you are not following me on poshmark by the way my poshmark is the same as here it's just beauty by gabby poshmark is just an app where you can buy and sell your new or gently used clothing jewelry makeup shoes all sorts of stuff so i've sold a lot of stuff on there but this was the only thing i've ever purchased on there and again i had some credits built up so i went ahead and got it but it is a necklace and it's rose gold and it's called, it's like a dog tag. They call it a tag. It's not dog tag, but it's like a, it's kind of like a choker chain link and it's really short. It comes out like about there. This would really be cute with what I have on. But I'll do a close up. Again, it's rose gold. So I love gold and I love rose gold. Oh, what I, the other thing I really like about it is that you can wear it like either way because the front side, it's like a plain gold bar and then it has these two little studs. These are like the, if you know Henry Bendel, they have those little studs or rivets or whatever on a lot of their jewelry. It's like their signature thing and then it says Henry Bendel and then they have little like diamonds in it, diamonds. Um, and then on the back, it says Henry Bendel, New York. So I feel like you can wear it either way, which is what I really like about it. So that is that. That was everything that I got from Henry Bendel. So the last items that I have to show you all come from Nike. And the first two are both like a sandal, I guess you could say. Yeah, they are sandals. So let me see which ones I have first. So these are the first ones that I got. And these are like the traditional Nike slide on slides. And I wanted some of these for a while just because like I like to wear socks sometimes and like when I'm in the house or whatever, I want to just slide my foot into something without having like a, you know, the sandal thing right there and be able to like go outside, go check the mail, go maybe to the store or whatever just real quick and not have to like take my socks off or again have like, you know, if I put on a regular flip flop, it'll have a thing right there and you cannot wear socks with that. that that's not cute. Um, so yeah, so that's why I got these. So really cash, really casual. Um, these were on sale, so I only got them for like 20 or 19. And they're normally 25. And I got these in a size 9. That's my true size. They are called the Women's Banasi JDI. Yeah, so that's what those are called. And then the next pair that I got are more like your traditional sandal, but these are so comfortable. These are called the Women's Nike Comfort Thong, and that's what they look like. These are so comfortable. I love this, like, they have, like, this thick cushion on them, and they just feel like walking on air. So I love these. I just think they're so comfortable. And, again, I got these on sale. Um, I think I pay, like, I think I paid like 19 or 20 for these as well because it came out to 39 something before tax. Nike also takes part in Ebates as well, just putting that out there. But if you're going to shop for Nike items, what I recommend is checking out like, see who has the highest cash back. Like you can go on Champs, you can go on Foot Locker, you can go on, what is that? some of the other ones? I can't think right now, like Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs. Sports Authority, Dicks. There's some other ones that I can't think of, but 
just see who has like the highest cash back and then who has the item that you want of course and then purchase through them but that's those and then these ones I didn't purchase online I actually went to the store because I wanted to try them on and these are sneakers and these are my first purchase of sneakers since like high school that's that's crazy but I wanted a pair I needed a pair like everyone needs a pair of sneakers so I do have a pair of Tim's though so that's kind of close right but I only wore the Tim's like one time I th I'm thinking about selling them because I don't know if I'm going to wear them again but anyway these are so pretty and I don't even like I have stuff on my head I'm gonna try to be careful but these are so, so pretty. I was debating between these and another pair of shoes, which is the Nike um, Hirachis, the all-white Hirachis. But when I saw them in person, if you look at the women's Hirachis, the color is ugly. It's supposed to be all-white, but they're not all-white. It's like an off-yellowish white, and then parts of it are like a true white, so you can really see like the contrast, and they don't look cute. The men's and the kids, I think, they those look okay but the women's no so i ended up getting these instead and i like the way these look better on my foot anyways but these are the air max 90s from nike and these are all white um these are in a kid size actually these are um a boys size seven in case you're wondering and i'm glad that i can wear a boys size 7 because they're a lot cheaper um these were only 85 whereas if you were to get them in women's they would be like 110 so yeah just keep that in mind like if you are a size 9 women's or, or smaller check out the boy sizes because it'll be a lot cheaper um, but this is what it looks like i'm gonna turn down my light turn down for what so this is what they look like um i have a picture of me wearing these on my instagram so check out my instagram i keep plugging that instagram right follow me on instagram um but yeah that's what they look like they're so 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 cute okay uh -oh. something's wrong can you try again and then I got something else when I got those Air Max because there was a young girl there helping me. She probably was like in high school or in college, but she was helping me and she was really sweet and really nice. And she asked me if I wanted to get this like little care kit for my shoes. So it comes with like a water repellent and then this is to clean your shoes with. And then these are called sneaker balls. You put them like inside of your shoes to keep them fresh and to deodorize your shoes. So I think they get like... I think they get something for selling these to people because I think they all try to get people to buy these every time they buy a shoe. And she was really nice and helpful. So I said, what the hell? Like, just add it on, whatever. And it's only $10.99, so it's not expensive at all. And I want to keep my babies clean anyway, so I just got that. So that was everything that I have to show you in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, I will put a link down below for you in the description to Ebates. If you sign up using the link that I have, you will get a $10 gift card with your first purchase of $25 or more. So check that out. That's about it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.